the closing moments of a memorable Jubilee celebration. Back onto the palace balcony came the Queen, accompanied by Prince Charles and the Duchess of Cornwall, and the Cambridges. One current and three future monarchs, Charles, William and George. It was the image which the crowds had been hoping to see, an image which emphasises the institution's continuity. A monarch who's reigned for 70 years, looking to the future and offering reassurance. The national anthem was sung with feeling. The balcony appearance was the climax to an afternoon of jubilee pageantry. It had all been very British. The story of the seven decades of the Queen's reign. The sights, the sounds, the dance moves. The faces and all those memories. The organisers had called this section the time of our lives. And this being the story of Britain, there was a good sprinkling of the mildly eccentric on two wheels and on three. All of which, it must be said, were doing rather better than this four-wheeler. Leading the pageant was the gold coach, the coach that had taken the Queen to her coronation. Images of her on that journey were projected onto the windows. The coach was making its first public appearance since the Golden Jubilee in 2002. In the Royal Box, the Prince of Wales took the salute from military units representing Britain's armed forces and detachments from many of the 54 members of the Commonwealth. Making a return to public duty, Prince Louis in the Royal Box with his elder brother and sister, George and Charlotte. Things were livening up. The parade was on to the 2010s. There were break dancers. Princess Anne was clapping, and Grandpa was about to be put in charge of Louis. The parade showed the modern Britain, inclusive, and with a focus on the environment. The theme of this float was the Queen's green canopy. At 4.30, the Royal Standard was broken out above Buckingham Palace. Half an hour later, the Queen was on the palace balcony. In a statement, the Queen said she'd been humbled and deeply touched that so many people had taken to the streets to mark her jubilee. Although she hadn't been able to attend every event, she said she remained committed to serving the nation to the best of her ability, supported by her family. The Queen's Platinum Jubilee was over. Nicholas Witchell, BBC News, at Buckingham Palace.